All right, speak. Okay, here we go. And, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit high. Am I this one? Is that the one? Yeah, okay, so I'm channel one. Or okay. that, that's both of us. No, not this one. This is just channel one. Because this is... Yeah. Yeah, you're still up. Uh, that's just me. Oh. So, yeah, I just brought myself down a little bit because we got... I mean, going in the yellow is fine, but I thought it was a little high. No, no, it's, 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 it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, yeah. it's, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to hear myself twice. Here, you yeah. try this. <laughs> yeah, let me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, you hear yourself. It's weird. That's it's weird. really fucking weird. All right, I'm going to start. Uh. We're going we're gonna to. All right, hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, Ben Roberts, here at the Ware uh, Gymnasium in Ware. And we'd like to quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Riddell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom in her office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100 or visit alberthearing.com as well as Gilmore Farrow Insurance. Uh, they specialize commercial in personal and commercial insurance, as well as Sugarloaf Clips. You can give Kim a visit in South Deerfield. Uh, Kim and Rachel uh, do a very good job over there. Kim's been cutting my hair personally since I was two years old. So, um, And as well as Holiday Pizza, official pizza of FCAT. And yeah, it's gonna be a great game uh, here in the Western Mass semi-final and uh, take it away Mason. All right well uh, it's definitely bound to be a good matchup Tom. In previous years these two teams have faced off but uh, coming into this year there was uh, a couple shakeups that happened with uh, breaking up the divisions in uh, boys volleyball so Frontier actually hasn't played where at all this year but in previous years I was talking to one of their captains uh, Tavo Vincent Warner who no doubt will be in the starting lineup uh, when and if, actually. I don't know if they're going to get announced in a moment. I imagine they will, but who knows. Uh, t anyway, Tava was saying uh, that in previous years, they have been able to beat Ware pretty consistently. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they haven't played them at all this year, so we don't really know uh, how much they've grown and how they're going to face this uh, Frontier team who's coming into this uh, pretty decent season. Um, not the best start in the world. Uh, they finished uh, the year with an 8 and 11 record, which actually not really important. Yeah. But, you know. I mean, they kind of finished, they had a really rocky start of the season and then yeah. uh, um, kind of epped things up towards the end. So Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, the main thing that you can see when you look back at a lot of the scores of these games is that if this is going to be a close game, it is likely going to go Frontier's way uh, they've pulled off wins uh, that are close, a couple 3-2 to two wins, but it, pretty much every loss has been 0-3. to three. Yeah, and they beat Granby, which Granby yes. was three, a 3-0 three fashion at the end of the season, and I mean, yeah. Granby is a very good team. So Yeah, the Red Hawks are coming into this game uh, on a three-game win streak, actually, being East Longmeadow, uh, Putnam, and Granby uh, to start their Western Mass run. And to serve as the Red Hawks first, one of the Carey brothers. Back over. I believe that's Alex. And Will Petrin sends it back the other way. Kahalen, and look at that. Big start for Kyle Gordon, who got the kill there. Yeah, he just kind of shoved it over the net. Yeah. And, so. and now serving, that is Josh Mulligan. Hawks to answer. A back set gets it over. Maybe an overpass and Mulligan puts it right back. Tava with the set and a block. 
And the point will go to the Indians, Ware Indians. And Mulligan will go back to serve once again. And a little bit of miscommunication there between uh, Alex Carey and Evan Mayo, it looks like. Yeah, and that was the first ace of the game there. So Mulligan with a good start so far for his team. Jack Carey from the back. Tavo over to Petrin, and he gets denied by Kyle Gordon. Yeah, you stuffed him at the net, basically. Yeah. Big man on the front line for Ware, it seems. Now Tavo with the set. And there will be the first point of the game for the Hawks. Alex Carey will get the kill as they rotate. Yeah, Alex Carey, the cannon back at it again, Mason. No surprise there. He actually leads the team pretty significantly in kills. Uh, before the game against Granby, he had 238 on the season. And that's going to be served a little bit too far. Scores 5-1 to one where? Yeah, but the good thing is you never can count Frontier out. I mean, they get behind, mm -hmm. and then they all of a sudden will crawl their way back into it. So. Absolutely. It just takes a matter of time to adapt, and that's what makes a lot of teams very dangerous. And there's a point for the Hawks. We'll go back to them. Coming off the court is Kyle Gordon, Sean Bernier, a sophomore, stepping in in his place. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, Dexter Teagan came in. Yep. Sitting down is Theo. Theo Sargent. Yeah, that's one of their captains right there. Serve from the Hawks. Met by Mulligan. The set. And point goes for the Hawks. Yeah. I didn't quite catch the call. He may have either. I don't think he touched the net, but I yeah. think he stepped over the line. Oh. Um, it's tough because we have two. We have like four wear players. Yeah. Standing right in front of us. Oh, and a great play there from Remy Kahalen. Senior for wear and just showing what kind of hops he has. The freshman Adkins serves, met by Jack Carey. Tavo gets the set off, and his brother Alex puts it back over. And almost blocked. Jack Carey keeps it alive. Alex, and oh, oh wow. Save. Good rally going on here, and Dexter can't finish it. Point goes to where? I mean, only a four-point lead right now, so hopefully Frontier can get the service back here. Yeah, it, it's a close. It's not. No one's running away with it by any means. Every point is being fought for pretty fiercely, Tom. Yeah. And that is going to be a little bit too far. Yeah, some of the wear players pleading to the to the ref's case, but yeah, I think that they're saying that it got tipped out by one of the Hawks. But hey, yeah, ref not budging, and no. <laughs> Alex Carey will go back to serve. Mulligan meets it, it hits the ceiling, oh. and the judge, <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be an ace for him. Yeah, get off that like. I don't even know what to call that, the vent? Yeah, I think Big so. Vent. It's it's an odd gym, Tom. I was thinking about that when we came in here. It's a slanted roof and good judgment from Mulligan letting it go by him, and it will be another point for Ware. Now a three-point game. Yeah. Yeah, you never really – I've never really seen a gym that's had a slanted roof before. But. Yeah. Or at least just a slanted roof in one side, and that point is going to go to where just couldn't quite move it forward. Kahalen with the serve. Met by Mayo. Tavo with this back set, and it rolls over. Hey, that worked from Jack Gary there. I mean, yeah. what wasn't what he was looking for, but he kind of <laughs> tapped it over, and it luckily rolled off the top of the net. So, yeah. And now Jack Carey go to the middle hitter position and to answer is where. They send it way back too far. 
I think that was Kahalen on the touch. And yeah, just too much force on it. Yeah, I think he wanted to set it, but he just didn't have another hit left. And that will go too far as well, this time from Josh Mulligan. Hey, and 8-9, Mason, just like that, Frontier's one point back. So. Exactly. Just, I mean, capitalizing on a few missteps, that's all you really need to do. And, oh, close call there. Yeah. I, from my angle, it looked like it was in, but. Yeah. Sorry, we're. It definitely, <laughs> I mean, that's just a call for the ref. And, I mean, still a two-point game. I mean, obviously, th this whole game is going to come down to just a few points, Tom. That's pretty clear. And this is a, a pretty extreme battle. And Oh, what a save. Look at that from Kyle Gordon. Yeah, that was just, just kind of looped over right in front of him, and he just slammed it down. So It's great awareness midair. And now the freshman, Dalton Marquise, will serve for where Tavo, back set, sent back over by Jack Carey. Oh. And Mayo isn't there in time. Yeah, that was a nice nice awareness by number 20 for... Uh, Nathan Harmon, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Just caught Frontier off guard. <coughs> now Mayo meets the serve. Tava with the set. And can they keep it alive? Ooh. No, diving into the bench. Great effort from Marquise, though. You got to hand it to him. Yeah, he put his body on the line for that one. Yeah. Especially, I mean, right behind that bench is just a brick wall, so... You dive into that, you <laughs> might not end too pretty. No. It's like diving into the bleachers. You oh, know, God, that's, yeah. That's got to hurt. Sergeant with the serve. Nice play from his knees, Remy Kahalen. And look at the touch from Josh Mulligan. Making a big difference in the early stages of this semifinal game. And like I was saying, Tom, there's big stakes in this game. Whoever wins this is going to go to the finals. Likely to be played on Saturday is what I've heard. Mm. And now Mulligan, Tavo can't block it. And now the Indians are back up by five. Yeah, Granby must be the, the one seed. I think so. And, I mean, it that kind of is some good news for the Hawks yep. if they can pull off this win and then go on to face Granby. Because then, um, oh, nice touch there from Petrin. Going across his body a little bit. Sargent keeps it alive off his forearm, but just not really in the right place. Uh, bad misdirect for the Hawks. Yeah. But as I was saying, if they can pull off the win here, they are very confident against Granby, having just beat them 3-0 yeah. in the past, previous game. You know. Now Vincent Warner. Oh, look at that. Great play from Jack Carey, I believe it was. Yeah, and that gets. Or no, that was Alex. Excuse me. Yeah, it, it gets the uh, service back over there for him. So very that's fortunate. A, yeah, that's a big win right there. This is where you can really try and come back. Still down by five, and <laughs> unfortunate serve. We always Again. jinx them, Mason. It's just it's just our way. You that know? is that's what we do best. But now Ware goes up by six, and back to serve is number six, Josh Mulligan. Yeah, Frontier, they do need to get the service back and try to get some points, so. Yeah, this is the point in the set where you need to really just kind of make it as close a game as possible. Six points isn't going to cut it, and that's a good break right there for the Hawks. Double touch, I think, was the call. Yep. There's been a lot of talk about that. I mean, was it, wasn't it a girls volleyball in the, at the college level? That's like you, you double touch got removed or something like that. I heard, I, yeah. that, that was news a little while back. I'm, I'm reaching back a little <laughs> bit, but I've, I've heard people talking about that. Anyway, uh, there's gonna be a timeout by uh, Sean McDonald, I presume, of the Hawks. So uh, we're gonna take a quick break and so will they. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here today with Tom Alber in Where. Uh, I don't actually know where Where is. Where, where I, is I, Where? I, <laughs> I don't I, know. I, I, I came here on the bus, so I didn't actually have to look up directions or anything like that to get here. And I Where's in Where? <laughs> I, I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> and Alex Carey getting another kill in the books. Five-point game, and the Hawks back with the service after their timeout. So... Well, yeah, if they can stage a comeback here. I'd say that Sean McDonald knows what he's doing, but we already know he knows what he's doing. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he's got an incredible record behind him. And yeah. misjudgment from the young player, Sean Bernier, lets yeah. it go by him, and it lands in bounds. And an ace there for, for Tavo, so. Vincent Warner to serve again. And sent immediately back over. By where? And Tegan Dexter gets it across. And wow. there's no one there for the Hawks. Yeah, that was just into Frontier's donut hole. And yeah. It's just unfortunate for him. Now just seven points away from closing out this set is where Frontier got a ways to come back, but anything can happen. And a block like that, or actually, no. Yeah, it was Frontier. Frontier got the point. Yeah. I didn't actually catch what the call was. I just saw Frontier getting the ball. Yeah. But Alex Carey will get to serve. And that will go wide to the right. His yeah. right, not ours. <laughs> Our left. Yeah. There's Remy Kahalen. His service met by Alex Carey. Cross the court and can't be saved by the Indians. Yeah, Frontier down by four, 19-15, but. I mean, it is anyone's game, Tom. Yeah. Really, like anything, the Hawks could stage a couple points of a comeback and it really could just get so much closer. And now we're in the final stages of this set right here. So this is really where Frontier would want to make a comeback and try and pull ahead. Yeah. Mayo did a good job on the service line last time. And another great kill from Remy Kahalen, proving his worth in the first set of this game. Yeah, it's just unfortunate for the Hawks. They don't have uh, Alex Gary in front yeah. to block those. And coming back out is Kyle Gordon for where big man made a few plays like that or actually that just hit the net I believe yeah that was just in the net yeah and now the scoreboard's broken on their end but ours is right it's 21 oh, yeah I'll be looking over here <laughs> <laughs> and I think yeah we're yeah game timeout for a moment just oh, to okay. yeah now it's back so there <laughs> we go not sure how that happens but yeah here we're, we go Marquise Shoots it too far. Yeah, that was a good job by Alex Carey letting it go. He w almost wanted to hit it, but. Yeah. In Frontier, they're, I mean, Gr Granby's only four points away from winning this, but this first set. So Frontier's got to be very mindful of the points they they give up, you know, so. Absolutely. And, I mean, they, they do have a ways to go, uh, Frontier. And, you know, that's the kind of thing that you can't be letting happen right now. No. That's, I mean. If it, you let up that kind of a point now, it's just it's three points away from closing it, closing out the set. And, you know, this isn't the kind of set where you're sitting back and you're thinking, well, you know, they really just caught us with our guard down and we weren't prepared for them to come out, you know, fighting like this. And we just want to get a new set to start over and really be able to, you know, start strong. You fought hard for this set and that, ooh. Close yeah, call. Just went out of bounds. Yeah, won't go the Red Hawks way, but this is where, like, you know, you really fought hard and you were behind, but you were kind of sticking with them, and now it's kind of all for nothing. Yeah. But fresh lay coming up soon for the Hawks, and there it is. So the first set point will go to the Ware Indians, 25-17. to 17. They're going to take a quick break as they switch sides in between sets. 
You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. All right, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, Ben Roberts here at the Ware Gymnasium in Ware, where after the first set, Frontier lost 25-17. So Ware has a one-set lead. Uh, we'll quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services, uh, Gilmore Fair Insurance, Sugarloaf Clips, and Holiday Pizza. So take it away, Mason. He caught me mid-sit. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> All right, so teams have switched sides, and now the Hawks are a little closer to us, and they got a fresh set to start new. I mean, this is, I, this is where I think that they need to make this closer than it was um, last set, obviously, because they, they definitely had a – a slower start to begin with. They gave up pretty much. It was like I think it was five nothing at one point to start. Yeah. It was that was the starting score of this of the first set. And so now, if they uh, the just being able to at least have a decent start for themselves, get themselves in a good position. Yeah, the closest they got it was within one. It was nine to eight, but and a good call from the young player Evan Mayo, eighth grader by the way. Yeah. Frontier has definitely a very young team on their bench. Um, Absolutely. Uh, and the serve from Petrin just going a little too far. He'll check out. I believe that was Frontier's first lead of the entire match. So. I think so, yeah. Short-lived. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> so tie game for a moment, and then the Hawks come back. It's 2-1. to one. And now back to serve is Tavo Vincent Warner. Dexter will come in for Sargent. Yeah, and they got to come out strong on this second set to stay within this match. So, Absolutely. And again, game with some high stakes. Big hit from Kahalen. Ties the game again. And like I said, Tom, I mean, it's going to come down to just a certain number of points and probably not that many points at that. You know, it's just, it's going to be a close game the whole way through. 
We saw it get decently close for most of the first set, but now teams just really hanging with each other. Hawks pull ahead once again after another kill from Alex Carey. So that makes the score three to two. Yeah, and he'll be at the service line. He's, he's done an excellent job all season, and I know in the off season he chose to do volleyball instead of basketball, so. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's paying off for him. He's the leader um, on the team in two categories, both kills and aces. So, I mean, he's definitely, I, I mean, he's kind of built for this sport, honestly. Yeah. He definitely is leaving his mark on this team. And there's his younger brother, Jack Carey, putting it over the net. And now, once again, Kahalen making a big play. And this time, the lead is going to swing back over to the Indians. Yeah, it was just really good placement there from him. Um, He's been making that move a lot too, Tom. I mean, just, you know, going to the far side and then pulling it all the way over. Mayo meets the service. Jack Carey flubs the hit a bit and just now Hawks are down by two. Yeah, in Frontier, they just got to they gotta have the um, determination to stick in this game. So Absolutely. Serve barely gets over the net, and Jack Carey gets blocked. Tavo keeps it up, but it goes off the face of Will Redding. Unfortunate there for the Hawks. Now they're down by three. Those are just a couple bad breaks that, you know, you need to be able to recover from. And now the set for Will Redding, he gets it over, and... It drops down, point for the Hawks. Yeah, an excellent move there by Will. And Will checking in for Will. It's Petron on the court, not Redding this time. Back to serve the eighth grader, Evan Mayo. Punches it back, kept alive. And Harmon helps to get it over. Jack Carey and Will Petron Good job reading the play there, and now sent back over. Mulligan. Carry again. Too far. Yeah, unfortunate there for the Red Hawks. Yeah, and that's what makes Josh Mulligan just so dangerous. I mean, he's able to get up as an outside hitter, get up high, and then just hit it um, with very little angle, kind of straight down and across. Oh, oh Tavo, my God! What a save! Are you kidding me? <laughs> he did that mid-air. That was ridiculous, and that goes right by my face. <laughs> that luckily went out of bounds, Mason. Yeah, point will go for the Hawks after probably the best display of of athleticism we've seen all game by the captain Tavo Vincent Warner. Yeah, that was that was insane. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, but. Tegan Dexter, again, I think this is the common theme that I've been seeing throughout this whole game. I mean, this is actually, I think, my second game uh, for this boys volleyball team that I've been watching of their whole season. But the main issue that I've been seeing for them throughout the whole year, Jack Carey keeping it alive, and Tavo has to get it over. He does get him back into position, and nice. Petrin gets the block. Mulligan. Keeping it alive, they gotta get it over, and they do. Sergeant Tava with the set, cross the court, the block, still alive, oh. and it'll go to where? Wow, what a rally. But as I was saying, I mean, the successful serves and consistent su successful serves has been a bit of a struggle for the Hawks, and even just getting them over the net sometimes, you know? Yeah, they, they have struggled with that. Oh, and oh, that's unfortunate, wait. Someone must have tipped it then, because it. I think so. Oh no, no, no. Never mind. <laughs> Where's point? And oh, uh, Petron couldn't get there in time. Now it's, it's kind of the same story as the last set, Tom. We're just pulling ahead. Now they're up by six. Yeah, eleven to five. Frontier needs to get back into it. And Tavo reaching up there, getting the ball over, and it's gonna come right to me. Nothing I can do except yeah. keep it in play. <laughs> You're a magnet, Mason. I know. 12 to 5 is the score. And back to serve is Marquise. He'll get it over, met by Jack Carey. He gets it back from his captain, Sergeant. And now Petron can't get the block. 
kept alive. Tava with the set, and Carey spikes it right into the net. Yeah, and that's something they've also kind of struggled with too during the season. And yeah, Frontier calling yeah. a much needed timeout. I mean, absolutely. They, they, whenever they sometimes just struggle hitting it over the net. And yeah, it's not and not good. The thing that I will say, and I mean, like I'm, I don't understand the sport of volleyball as best, you know, as as well as some other people do in this gymnasium, of course. <laughs> However. I will. I do want to point out that a lot of the time, the issue is not with the person who's hitting the ball, but rather who is setting the yeah, ball the to set. them. Yeah, and if right. the set is off, the hit's going to be off. And you know, for me, I'm not going to, you know, place blame on anyone because I don't feel confident making yeah. that judgment. But you know, I just want to put it out there because it's you know, Jack Carey. He has been uh, missing a lot of hits and uh, flubbing a few and everything like that. But it isn't, you know. I, I don't want to put all the blame yeah, on him because not, I don't I don't think it him. is no, all no, the time, no, no. you know. And the scoreboard seems to be uh, uh, down for the count again. Ours um, is ours is right though. It's thirteen five. Where on oh, top? Oh well, there they go. All right. It's back up again. And Dalton Marquise going to be serving again for the Indians. We've seen pretty much the same group of players from both teams. Not any major substitutions that have happened. Petrin, good crossbody oh move God. and too many hits for Ware. That was just, I mean, that's the kind of play that we keep seeing from Josh Mulligan, Tom, just, you know, hitting it all the way to the other side and Petrin just executed that perfectly. Yep. And oh, close call. Jack Carey barely getting it over the net for his serve, and that will go out. Yeah, but hey, you can't count Frontier out of it. I mean, absolutely. 13 7. They got two points in a row, so. Carey again. They just need to keep up this uh, MO. Uh, and Harmon's spike sent back over. Alex Carey with the kill. Yeah, it was a nice back hit from him. Yeah. And that's the kind of thing, I mean, that's a touch that you aren't really expecting as the opposing team. Now the younger carry, once again with the service. And Mayo keeps it alive, great move. And Alex Carey still up, oh and they get it over. What wow. an effort from the Indians. Tavo, the set, Carey, wow. <laughs> And now that's four points in a row for the Hawks. Yeah, and that's really from Evan Mayo's big save. I mean, yeah. without that, Frontier wouldn't have gotten the point. So it's a great effort from the kid. And Jack Carey serve met by Mulligan once again. And or excuse me, that is actually a Kahalen. And he will get the kill. 14 to 9. Service goes back to where? Yeah, Frontier down by five. I mean. This is kind of this is a crucial part in the set where they need to get some more points and get the service back towards themselves. So and keep it a close game too. I mean, a five-point difference isn't going to cut it. Alex Carey, just not the right placement, a little too far. Yeah, and I know you told me that Frontier Baseball lost. So. Yes, they did. A close game, I might add. Uh, but they did end up losing. They have a consolation game, but uh, they're out of the running for Western Mass at this point. Yep, and softball won on uh, just yesterday, so we'll probably end up covering their game. Yeah, I'll try and be there if I can. And that goes way up. Might have hit the ceiling, and they hit it Ooh. way into the stands. <laughs> the oh ball's boy. still in the stands. Yeah. Oh, well, because it landed in – someone's on a phone call over there. That's who it landed <laughs> on. <laughs> He's got something more important going on than the game. So. Yeah. Now a four-point game. The serve from Petrin, and he keeps it alive, but bad deflection off of his hands. Got to give him credit for the effort, though. Yeah, still that – Five point Barry. I mean, 16 11 it's Frontier. Just, yeah, it's unfortunate. Mason. It is. Now, Vincent Warner up to Alex. Yet another kill for the Cannon. 
Yeah, it's, he's heating up, though. He's heating up, Mason. It's, I mean, it's just a matter of how much time it's going to take, and I think that's really going to decide whether or not we go to more than three sets in this game. Yeah, Frontier really needs to win this set to keep in the game, so. And there you go. Vincent Warner making a great play. Three-point game. Can they keep it going? The serve from Tavo. Back set. And Alex not quite there. Oh! Yeah, he luckily didn't hit it, so. Look at that. I could have sworn, I mean, from our angle, it definitely looked like he did, but the line judge was right there, so. Makes the right call. And now a two point game. Serve from Tavo. Once again, a, that's a double that's hit call, yeah. I think, yeah. So, a series of errors allows the Hawks to come back into this game, and it is a one-point game. Yeah, they have Scoreboard says two points, but I, I do think that it's a one-point game. I do as well. Uh, <laughs> see if they update it, but uh, they're gonna take a quick break on the court after a wear timeout, and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tom Albert. It's a one point game in the Class C Western Mass Finals and now it's a two point game after a great strike from Remy Kahalen putting Ware back up on the board. Before the break, the Hawks had gone in a bit of a hot streak. A couple errors made by Ware that they capitalize on and now Alex Carey with a soft touch. Yeah, just a tap over there. That'll do it there to get the point. Yeah. So, I love seeing that move because everyone just trying to hit it as hard as they can. Just, that's just playing smart, you know. You, you you make the smart play and you get the point and you stay in the game. And this is, I mean, like you said, Tom, this is a big set for the Hawks. If they can win this, they're right back in the game. We got a tied game, uh, one to one on the set points. And Alex Carey with a strong serve, good save from Sean Bernier. Tavo across the court, the set, oh hey. beauty. Wow, tie game for the first time since the start of this set. Yeah, it was originally 13 to five and Frontier has ca crawled all the way back, Mason, so. This is phenomenal, Tom, and Alex Carey's serve is met by Mulligan, the back set. Oh, yeah, I think Jack Carey must have touched the net there. Yeah. Either that or it just dropped down on Frontier's side. It's hard to tell from our angle. Yeah, our angle's not the best, but. Yeah. And that's going to graze the top of the net as it comes over. Dexter in the middle. And they punch it back over. A bit of an awkward move there from where it seemed like they recovered from some kind of miscommunication. Kahalen uh. and Redding was right there to make the block. Good move, but just. Bad deflection, really. Yep. But now we're towards the end of the, the second set, so these points are very vital to either team. So, And 17 points was where Frontier ended. Uh, at the That's where Frontier ended the first set. It was 25 to 17, so, I mean, taking steps forward is getting more points than 17. Let's see if the Hawks can do it, and they will. Yep. Another great judgment from the kid. Evan Mayo. Yeah, and Frontiers, they're, they're right in this one. I mean, they're down by two, and they have the serve back, and it looks like Absolutely. it's going to be Mayo serving. Oh, and taking a stoppage of play. I think someone just fell out of the bleachers. That's yeah. all. Um. <laughs> and the kid gets a round of applause. Good for him. Tough guy over there. Yeah. <laughs> And now play resumes. Evan Mayo will be back to serve. Met by Jonathan Adkins. And 
Petrin will get the block, it looks like. Yeah, I think he, uh, the, the player for Ware just whiff it, so he yeah. didn't even hit it. I think so. And I think that, that was uh, Marquise who was on the play there for Ware. And, oh, look at that. Oh, wow, oh. they get it back over. A great play <laughs> from Jack Carey and Petrin and Carey are going to yell off <laughs> Evan Mayo. And now we got a tie game at 20. Yep. Look at this. Yeah, that was really good communication by the players to tell them to not hit it because it would have been out of bounds. So Absolutely. And the kid good. makes another save. Punched up by Tavo. Dexter has to get it over. He does. Adkins. The set. Kahalen and Dexter can't quite get the block. Sean McDonald will stand up. Giving some advice to Teagan Dexter. Still a one-point game. Serve is met by Alex Carey. The set over to Jack. Too far. The Hawks are asking for a tip, they think. Yeah. yeah. Um, Frontier's going to call a timeout, Mason. I mean, yeah. three, where's three points away from taking a two-to-nothing set lead in the, the semifinal here? But this is a huge moment for the Hawks. They really need a comeback. I mean, 25 to 17 is already a relatively close score. You put up a good effort, and you stuck with them for most of it. But again, I, for the first set, it was that tough start that really just ended up, you know, uh, causing them to lose that first set. But this is—they started off strong. They fell behind um, after getting five points, and then they just have had this incredible comeback. And you—I mean, you need to cash in that effort for a set point. That's what you really need to do here. You yeah. can't put all this effort and then come back with nothing. Yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, they're, they're only down by two, but Ware only needs three to, to win the second set. So hopefully Frontier can get this point back and get back in, in the service. So Yeah. That's the key right here. Because, I mean, you got to win the set by two points. So... Yeah, if they can... Th this point is very vital because they don't have a lot of points to give. So Back to service. Kahalen barely gets over. Tavo, the back set, oh. and no one takes it. Just the worst way you could have that happen, too. Um, yeah. My God. So they really have just one more point to give, and then they need to go on a run. But Yeah. And that goes way too far from Kahalen. So there is life for the Red Hawks. Yeah, and it's going to be in the hands of Theo Sargent, so one of the captains for Frontier. Good hands to have it in. It is a two-point game. Serve kept up. Kahalen and Carey makes the bad judgment. It goes too far. Yep, and now it's a uh, set point. Yeah. I, you can't fault them too much for that, though. It's so hard to make those split-second decisions, especially, I mean, the call, ball's coming right at his face. But, hey, there's still life for Frontier. That one goes in the net. There is. And it's, <laughs> they need four points is well, what they need. If, if they get two. Oh, yeah, that's it, true. That's true. Tie it up. But That'll do it. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah. Just a well-placed hit from the junior, Nathan Harmon. And now the Red Hawks are down two to nothing, one set point away from getting knocked out of the Western Mass tournament. Yeah. So they're, they're gonna take a quick break, Mason. Yeah. So will we, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
All right, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, Ben Roberts here at the Ware Gymnasium, where we it is set number three, and Ware's up two to nothing. So if they win one more, they win. But we'd like to quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Dell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom in her office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100, or visit alberthearing.com as well as uh, Gilmore Farrell Insurance. They specialize in commercial and personal insurance, as well as uh, Sugar Loaf Clips. You can give Kim and Rachel a visit. Kim's been cutting my hair since I was two years old, and they do a very good job. They're located in South Deerfield. Uh, and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. So. All righty. So, yeah, we're going in the third, what could potentially be the final set of this Class C Western Mass semifinal game. Uh, Hawks, I mean, second set, that was, you know, they needed to win that to try and really get themselves back in the game. But this is a do or die situation for the Hawks here. And a great block from uh. Tavo. You know, point will go to where, though. Yeah, Frontier hasn't had really too many leads in this match so far, but. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've stuck right with them kept it close and oh lucky bounce josh mulligan just catching a break there yeah that just hit the top of the net and rolled over so unfortunate for the hawks that serve seems a little more confident for mulligan back set tavo and the dig from kahalen and mayo just a bad angle tough look again from the hawks And that serve will be a little bit low. Alex Carey kept alive by Harmon. Cross oh. the court. Once again, it's Kahalen really getting hyped up now. He can really just taste it at this point, Tom. Yeah, I mean, that, that was a lot of power on that one. I don't think I would want to be in the way of that ball. Again. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. Tavo back set again. Alex Carey, first point for the Hawks in this set. And now checking in for the kid, Evan Mayo, is gonna be Dean Gray, one of their other young players. Yeah, I believe he's also in eighth grade. He is in eighth grade. Doesn't quite look like it though. He's a pretty tall kid for eighth grade and that almost hits the Hawks camera. <laughs> and it will be a point for the Hawks. The service will come from Will Petrin, Harmon, and that will not get over the net. Jonathan Atkins, the freshman. Yeah, I mean, hey, Frontier's going on a little bit of a run. They're, they're catching back up, and they just really need to get ahead of yeah. the, the Indians here. Big streak is needed for the Hawks here. Nice. Oh, look at that. Alex Carey, big move from a big man. <laughs> yeah, nice block. He, he reached over the top of the net there. Yeah. So. Smart decision by him. And Petron with the service again. Harmon, oh, and the block from Dean Gray, but won't get the point. I mean, that's why they put him in. He's such a tall kid for his age, and I mean, he knows how to use it, Tom. Yeah. But now that is Gordon who serves it right into the net. Tie game once again. Yeah, Frontier really does, Mason. They need to go on a run right now. I mean, and, and hopefully Tavo can do it for him. So. Yeah. Tavo back to serve. Mulligan and Marquise. Yeah, and that's an ace for him, Mason. Yeah. I mean, just I, I don't really know what happened there, to be honest. Marquise just didn't quite seem to realize he was the one that needed to get the ball. Serve is kept alive by Bernier. And Kahalen, once again. She's just old reliable out there. Yeah, he's got that, that power of an arm, and you know, you really can't return it if you're Frontier. Absolutely, and Dexter almost gets in the way of the answer from Alex Carey, but that's kept alive by Kahalen, the set. And now it's back over to Jack Carey. Tavo, back set, Dexter. Oh, and what a play. Remy Kahalen just really bringing this game together for the Indians. 
Yeah, kaylin has been doing well all night, and I mean, his energy's also keeping where in the uh, and ahead of the of the Red Hawks. Yeah, and another big block. This time, a joint effort from Harmon and Marquise. Two point lead for the Indians. I mean, they're really feeling it right now, Tom. The energy is definitely in their end of the court, but. We'll see if that changes after the bad serve from Jonathan Atkins makes it a one-point game. And who is back to serve for the Hawks? Looks like Alex Carey. Yeah, hopefully he can go on a run here for the Hawks. That's what they really need. I mean, keeping it close is one thing, but in this situation, you really need to just try and make sure you can get ahead and get in a comfortable position. I, mean, we, I jinxed him, Mason. I mean, Yeah, it's just... <laughs> That one just hit the top of the net and rolled back the frontier side, so they're not catching any breaks. Okay, Halen serve met by Jack Carey. And that is going to be a point for the Hawks. Back to a one point game. And I can't quite see who's back to serve. Mayo. Oh, Mayo. it's Mayo. All right. So. Marquise gets it over a couple of Hawks. And Alex Carey doesn't quite get the kill at the net. Bit of a scramble there and <laughs> won't get it beyond the post. Yeah, and things are, it's tied up again, Mason, 9-9. Nine nine. So Frontier, again, oh, they, yeah. they just need to pull ahead. And it's in the hands of an eighth grader for the Hawks. So Serve from the kid. Harmon and Mayo with a big save again. Tavo keeps it alive. And Petrin, now the set, Mulligan doesn't oh, keep it in play. And now the Hawks take a one point lead. This is where they, I mean, this is, you take the lead, that's a good thing, but they really need to, they need to keep pushing because they've taken the lead by one or two points, but it's never been more than that, Tom. Yeah, they just need to capitalize right now. They really do. And Mayo, again, once again, in the right spot, mm. just not quite in, the reaction time is just not quite fast enough because he knows where he needs to go. It's just a little too slow to it. And not just him specifically. That's happened a few times for the Hawks. Marquise. Now Dexter. Oh, nice. beautiful placement. Look at that. And the Hawks go up by one again. Marquise will check out. And coming back in is Sean Bernier. Yeah, Frontier, they need to keep this energy, keep it rolling. I mean, they, they cannot afford to even give up a couple of points. I mean, yeah, just keep it close and try to pull ahead if they can. Absolutely. Now Bernier up to Harmon. And Gordon after the block from Petra. And great reaction from Alex Carey. Tavo sends it back over. Kahalen from the back. Harmon over to Mulligan. And it's still alive. Good rally we have here. Petrin and the point will go to Ware after a bit of a scramble in front of the net. Now we have another tie game. It's just back and forth all day. That's what's been happening. And not once have the Hawks really seemed to have capitalized and come out on top. But Petrin, good hit there at the line. And the point goes to the Hawks as it looks like that was Jonathan Atkins either touched the net or stepped over the line. Yep. I think he must have touched the net because it was bobbing I think so, a little bit. Yeah. So. That's what it looked like. The Hawks catch a lucky break there. So, up. And, yeah, once again, <laughs> I mean, we've talked about it before. It's just the serves, you know, like being consistent and not even like good placement serves. It's simply just getting them over the net, Yeah. you know. And, oh, wow, Jack Carey, what a play. Oh, I saved their camera too. Yep. And now, I think Ware is up in arms over here. I didn't quite catch that. I was saving I, my I, face. I think they thought it was out of bounds, um, but must have must have been in bounds. It definitely. I mean, it looked like it was pretty close. I did see that much, considering it was coming my way. And now tie game once again. Ware getting some motivation off of. Uh, what they're uh, perceiving to be is bad calls. I mean, I 
it's close calls in my yeah, book. And, yeah. I mean, the refs are doing as good a job as they can, I think. I haven't seen anything particularly biased at all. Oh, and nice. mm. Yeah, just miscalculated that one. It may have Mason. And yeah, just thought he was a little farther to the right on the court, I suppose. This is where they can't let Ware pull away. This is where they can't have any big mistakes. Yeah. Kahalen keeps it up. Mulligan back over. Sargent up to Tavo, deflected up. And now Kahalen, Mayo, again the right spot, but just the force of Kahalen's arm is just, it's too much. Yeah, it's, un it's unfortunate. I mean, 15-13, Frontier needs to get a point here and get the service back and try to get back into it. And Dean Gray with a nice move. Keeping it in Frontier's side of things. But Kahalen, just too consistent, too powerful. Yeah, and this is kind of where Ware's pulled away. Once they get a couple of points rolling, I mean, it, Frontier just needs to figure something out. We keep seeing it right in the teens. You're right, Tom. And I mean, this is where Frontier, they make it, again, they, making a smart play there. They, they get that point, Mason, but. This is where Sargent will check out. And it looks like Dean Gray comes in. It might have been Dexter, I'm not sure. Tavo's serve goes into the net, and there we are again. I mean, just back to the same old talking point. It's a tough place to be in, but when you're down by only three, you can't be affording that kind of thing. Yeah. Tavo with the set. Alex Carey, and that will be out of bounds. Yeah, and now, now Frontier's going to call a timeout, Mason. I mean, we're kind yeah. of later into this set. It's 18-14, and Frontier really needs to figure something out quickly. Otherwise, they yeah. will be eliminated from the tournament. So Absolutely. I mean, the this is – and the other thing that – I mean, we didn't really mention this at the start of the game, but they're coming into this 8-11 and 11 record. Um, I believe it's the next – yeah, so this game – and whether or not they win this game, they will have another game. They'll have a consolation game if they lose it. So this game and that next game will count towards their overall record and their seeding in the state tournament. And that, that's, that's a big deal for them. I mean, like, it's been a rough season for them, and it's not like we're expecting them to go particularly far. But still, the lower you are in that seeding placement, the harder teams are going to end yeah. up playing. And the good thing going for them is they did beat Granby, which was in, in a 3-0 fashion, which yeah. Granby's the number one seed in the Western Mass tournament. Yeah. So, and they were 16-2 they were and two on the season. So That is huge for the Hawks, and that it really is what they have going for them if they can pull off a comeback here Yeah, even if they get game. a set or two, Mason. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, I mean... Staying alive in this game is all that Frontier should be worried about at this point. You know, coming back and winning this set is essential for being able to win this game. But even just in your placement and your ranking in, you know, any kind of different level, it's huge to just get a point or get a set point, I should say. Yeah. And a bit of scrambling from the Indians, but they get it back over. And I think, a, yeah, double, double touch. Frontiers, they're not out of it, though. And what are they? Oh, oh and look yellow at this. card to number six. Mulligan getting called for, guess he had a few words to say. And Kahalen talking him down a little bit, saying, you know, cool off, man. We're, we're in the lead. We're right on the cusp of winning this. Don't do anything stupid. Mulligan will meet the serve. It goes back to the Red Hawks' side. Carey brother to the other one. And Marquise gets denied. It gets kept alive by Mulligan. Nice. And a great move. Look at that. Jack Carey yeah, going cross body. Yeah, he really came in clutch there with that, that uh, hit over the net. And 18-17. Frontier's still in this, very much in this third set. So. Oh, absolutely, Tom. I mean, this is a big moment for them nonetheless keeping it close and at a late stage in a crucial set. Big block from Dean Gray. And Alex Carey from the backfield. Tavo. Double, double touch. 
Tough call there for the Hawks, and now they're back down by two. And the man of the night, Remy Kahalen, is back to serve for the Ware Indians. Mayo from his knees. The set from Tavo, and the point goes to Jack Carey. Yeah, nice placement. I mean, no one really got to it on Ware, so. 19-18, Mason, I mean, hey. And another big moment for the kid, Evan Mayo. He's back to serve. He'll get it over. Horman, and now it's 20 to 18. Service goes back to the Indians. Yeah, now they're just five points away. Frontier, they need to get the service back, and they can't afford to really give much, more, much points to this very well-rounded wear team. Absolutely. Dexter gets it back over. Kahalen and Mulligan snipes it down. Yeah, I mean, now they're just four points away from move, moving on uh, to the Western Mass final, which Hawks need to keep their heads high right now. And Petrin with a nice touch right at the net, and oh, look at this. Wow, Gordon and Harmon kind of ran into each other a little bit, and that'll cost them a point and give Frontier a fresh chance as Theo Sargent goes back for the service. Yeah. Two point game, 21 to 19, in a crucial third set. Mayo keeps it alive and it goes off the wall. Um, yeah, that is unfortunate for the Hawks. I mean, now it, it's where with the serve and you're down by three. You, you really gotta get this point, next point here. Yeah. Harmon. That's met by Alex Carey. The set to Petrin. Try to, I saw what he was trying to do there. That was a great thought. Just a bit of poor execution and Hawks starting to dig themselves in a bit of a hole here. Yep. But hey, there's life, Mason. There always is. <laughs> and I mean, this is what the this team will do to you, Tom. They just really edge your seat until the last moment. 23-20, I mean, Jack, it's all in the hands of Jack Gary right now. Very big chance the Hawks should come back here. I mean, you, know, you can never count him out. But Kahalen. They touched, wait, what? It must have been that. Someone on Frontiers and touched the net. That is so unfortunate. Yeah. And now with a score uh. of 24 to 20, we're one point away from closing this game out and sweeping the Hawks three to nothing. Sean McDonald will call a timeout to try and stage a comeback to save their Western Mass run. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I mean, Frontier, they, they came into this game, what was it, 8 and 11? Yeah, 8 and 11. Uh, you know, not the, not the best of seasons. They did move up a division after winning two back to back Western Mass titles. So yes, they did. Much tougher competition, and, you know, Definitely lost some seniors along the way from last year that were Oh good. yeah, I mean this is a very young team we're looking at. Just a couple, there was only three seniors, yeah. I think. And I mean, we can talk about, um, there, there's a lot of younger kids that did not take the bus ride down here to play. Um, Cause McDonald wanted to have his older, more experienced players. But now here we go. Hawks need to take this point if they want to stay alive. Back to serve is Mulligan, Jack Carey. Tava with the set, and Alex Carey punches it over. Harmon, and there it is. Jonathan Adkins, the freshman, will seal the deal for the Ware Indians. And there's the semifinal, folks. Hawks travel down to Ware and will lose three to nothing. Although, I mean, it's a depressing score when you look at it that way but I'd say besides the first set where they really kind of got caught off guard I think especially yeah. at the beginning of it the second and third set incredibly close I mean five point difference here at the end I think it was even just like three or four for the second one if I remember right I didn't actually write yeah, it down it was, but it was 25 to 22 so yeah I mean just Hawks never really were able to start off the set strong. And if they were, it's just somewhere in those teens, in the middle of that set, yeah. just, you know, we're able to 
take hold of the game. And they, I mean, you said it before, Tom, just an incredibly well-rounded team. And I mean, wishing them the best in their battle to win the Western Mass final. I'm sure they'll put up a good fight at the very least. Um, likely to face Granby, I believe. They yeah. are the number one seed. Uh, I'm not sure who they're playing, but uh, I'm sure we'll hear about it somewhere. So uh, the Hawks will get a consolation game. Uh, I'm not sure against who, uh, again, um, but their record will now go to 8-12. and 12. Could either be 8-13 and 13 or 9-12, and 12, depending on how that consolation game goes for them. And currently, going into this game, they were ranked 25th in their division. Top 32 teams get into state. So right now, they're in a pretty good position, but if they lose that consolation game, I mean, we could be looking at a... You know, we're, we're, I mean, we could be looking at like a top five team in the state that yeah, we're playing against. That, that, that would be tough. That's some bad news right there for the longevity of the postseason for this boys volleyball team. But, I mean, only other thing I got to say is we saw some great performances from uh, Alex Carey, uh, Tavo, Vincent Warner. Call back to that first set. Incredible oh, yeah. show of that. <laughs> Just like springboarding himself forward to make that save and keeping the play alive that's not forgotten by any means and the kid Evan Mayo making some great pancakes out there just you know <laughs> laying out for the ball which you always love to see so by no means was this a blowout for the Hawks Tom yeah and we will uh well that'll do it for our not a, all of our Western Mass coverage. We'll most likely be covering softball because they ended, they won on yes. yesterday night. Yeah. Um, do you do you have any idea who they're playing? Uh, no idea yet. Yeah. But all it, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it'll be announced soon. Um, yeah. And yeah. So, I mean, any 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 final thoughts other than that, Mason? Uh, only thing I gotta say is you know wishing all the best to where this is a great team. You know, a lot of fun to watch and uh, especially Remy Kahalen just I mean he really brings this whole team together I think Tom just the power that he has when he puts his fist to the ball is just it's remarkable you don't see it a lot um, at this level of play and uh, the kind of energy that they have is uh, really special and also just try and keep it in check you don't want to get called for you know volleyball's equivalent of a technical foul yeah, you yeah. know again in the in the finals yep. that probably would not be advisable but other than that yeah good I mean Good showing from the Hawks. Couldn't end up pulling off a set point, but, you know, wish all the best to wear, and I think that'll do it for us. Yeah, uh, we'll, we will quickly thank our sponsors uh, and close this one out. So we are sponsored by Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Riddell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Uh, you can give my mom and her office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100, or visit alberthearing.com. Uh, as well as Gilmore Federal Insurance. They, they specialize in commercial and personal insurance, uh, as well as Sugarloaf Clips. They're located in South Deerfield and give Kim and Rachel a visit. Kim's been cutting my hair personally since I was two years old, and they do a very good job over there. As well as Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, Ben Roberts, uh, thank you for watching. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you and goodbye.